they're beautiful people, Steph Filipinas here and welcome back to my channel everybody. So for today's video guys, I have a very beautiful guest today. Okay, will you please introduce hi. yourself? Um, hi, my name is Yvonne. How old are you Yvonne? I'm 31. 31 guys, look at this. She's 31 years old but she doesn't look like 31 years old. Oh, thank you. Okay, are you single or are you dating someone? I'm totally single, but I'm, I have kids. I'm a single mom. Oh, you're single. How many kids do you have? I have two. Have you dated a foreigner before? Yeah, I do. Uh, I did. Yes. Okay. How was the experience in dating a foreigner? <laughs> it was actually nice because foreigners are, seems to be very sweet, caring, but it ended, so I can't really uh, oh. say that it's... It's okay, I understand your privacy, but is he older than you or younger than you? Um, younger. Younger than you? Do you have any plans to date someone who's older than you? Like, you know, like uh, five years age gap or what? Yes, I'm actually like, okay, even if it's around 40s, because those um, age is normally they're ready to settle down yeah they're, are you ready to settle down as well i want to okay all right so uh what's the difference between dating a filipino and a foreigner um actually i don't want to say um any bad things about filipino because so far i do have a good experience with filipino um i do have long relationship uh before my first boyfriend i had two years mm. and my kid's father is 11 years i've been with him for 11 years oh. and they have treated me well uh, it's just you guys are married we're oh uh, we're not married oh, okay okay yes but um still it did not work for some reason it's not really like uh we do have um we fight over something it's just that the priorities is totally different and with foreigners when i actually the experience that i had is very nice like a uh, foreigner is really have this kind of initiative like if i may uh describe that they have more initiative on how to treat women yeah very um caring like they're going to pamper you like I'm used to read novels uh, during my teenage uh, years, okay. so it's a kind of like a type of guy that you would like to be, like yeah. they're going to treat you very yeah. uh, like a princess. princess. Uh, okay. thing. So basically you're saying that now that you're dating a foreigner, you feel like you are dating someone in fictional characters. Yes, because, exactly. Yeah, you are, they are treating you good, very caring and sweet, right? Yes. Okay, so how's the life of being a single mom so far? It's quite tough. I'm very busy. Like, I have to work. Uh, at the same time, I need to manage my time to still uh, spend time with my kids. Mm -hmm. I need to take care of a lot of things because my two kids, my youngest is three. He's toddler. So I, I really need to uh, look after him and spend time with him while my eldest is 11 and he's studying. And there are a lot of activities in school while I al also need to make sure that I my I would be able to like you know um, do my job yeah, in the yeah. office like do not compromise my work because of course it's my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You also need your work so you can financially support your kids, right? Yes. But at the same time, you also want to be physically there to support your right. kids, especially in school activities and yes. whatnot. You just want to see them, you know, like their journey growing up. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what are the challenges uh, being a single mom? Like in, in terms of dating, you know, like have you had this kind of judgments from other people or from other men? That, oh, I don't want to judge this girl because she has a kids already and I don't want to deal or I don't want to be, a, you know, raise a kid that I don't own. How do you deal with that? I think the good thing why I actually like open myself with foreigners is that it's much more difficult when you are a single mom and then you look 
um, you open yourself for a relationship to Filipinos mm -hmm. because um, most Filipino men are having judgment when you are yeah. a single mom. But for foreigners, it's not like that. Like, they're totally okay even if you are single mom. Yeah, they're open It's not really that. a big deal for them. Yeah. But you know what? Actually, I have a lot of subscribers who do not want to date a single mom because, again, they don't want to deal with baggages of the single mom. They don't want to raise a kid. But most of my viewers as well, they also want to date someone who is single mom because they, they are basic to me like they cannot raise a kid or they cannot mm. provide a kid so they just want to date someone who has a kid already and they're just gonna be there to support so let's just say i have viewers right here and they're gonna message you or gonna email you are you open to date uh you know foreigner viewers of mine well let's just say i'm open to like um no uh, or meet other i'm single right now so i'm open to meet someone that would understand my situation anyway everything would start with a friendship yeah it doesn't mean that i'm going to communicate with someone that's going to be like in a relationship yeah. thing well it's not like that yeah. so yeah it's totally fine are you a slow burner like you want to you want to get to know the person first before having a big commitment with that person like talk about marriage or to make the relationship official actually that's one thing that i have learned in my pre uh, past relationship with a foreigner in filipino actually men court woman before everything starts yeah everything uh, happens within relationship but the thing with foreigner is not like that. Yeah. Like, like you really have to invest everything first, your time, your effort, and whatever, before they consider it as a formal relationship. Yeah. And that's actually the problem that I had before because I take it negatively. So for me, um, like, but now I realize that maybe it's much better to know the person first because especially that I, that I am a single mom, I want to know if that man would understand my circumstance, circumstances in life as a single mom. How are we going to deal our problems together within the relationship and how he's going to treat my children? Because of course, you don't know. Even the person maybe accept you as a single mom and maybe show that uh, they're being good with your children but somehow I'm actually looking forward to see how my man reacts especially if there is something that they would see in my children like for example a toddler what if my toddler like showing or throwing tantrums how would a person or how would a man especially never been a father yeah. would react to that yeah. like, I want to see that type yeah. of reaction hopefully yeah. like that kind of very open relationship yeah. so what are your you know what are your type in terms of physical qualities or physical appearance do you have a specific body type that you're attracted to you know i'm not i don't really have like a specific um body type it depends i'm just like kind of like when i see that man i felt like it is attractive for me then that's it because i'm not actually looking for someone so perfect because me my myself i'm not that gorgeous yeah. something yeah. beautiful like <laughs> as long as i see something that i i can feel yeah. like there is something i'm at, attracted like, to genuine her. And yes sincerity right? yes how about the skin color do you have a specific you know no because even black men i see beauties in black oh me too um, uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i think you like black men huh. I like black men. Have I also you dated like black men before? No, but uh, even if I see black men, I can still see that, oh, he's handsome. He's good yeah. looking. Yeah. Very How long have you been working in your job right now? Um, One year. Uh, one year. So do you love your job or is it enough to financially support your kids as a single mom yourself? Um, if I just don't have like, you know, I had like during COVID before, thing i uh, actually had involved myself into that something it should be uh, it's supposed to be enough but right now i have a lot of bills bills to pay so sometimes it's 
really struggling so far but working in bpo so supposed to be is already above minimum but still i really have financial struggle i'm still not stable this time okay since you are still in the situation where you are, you can you consider yourself not really that financial stable uh would you choose your career or would you choose your work or would you choose love or what's your take about that i choose career but if my lover has a career too and he would ask me to give up my career it depends with the arrangement like yeah. yeah i would give up my career as long as he would be able to secure me absolutely guys and especially my children yeah that's true because there's a lot of foreigners they are kind of intimidated with independent women like uh i don't want to date independent women i just want them to you know to depend on me but if also if they are gonna choose like let's just say we are independent mm. and then they're gonna ask us to stop working because they just want to spend more time with us and now that we stop working and then we're gonna date them and we are financially depending on them because they ask mm -hmm. us now they will say oh you're a gold digger you, right, you are exactly. just yeah like like what <laughs> like come on make up your mind like have you experienced that well like a guy asks you to stop working because i will financially support you and at the end of the day it turns out you're a gold digger i don't have an experience with that but relating to my um experience my pa uh with a foreigner He's not actually financially stable as well. He's a foreigner, but he's living here in the Philippines. And um, he's also working here. So what happened is that he's okay that I'm a single mom, but I feel like he would like me to share the expenses in his in the apartment. Like 50-50. Yes. Yeah. And it's kind of like difficult for me. Like I want him, but... Um, I have responsibility that would be affected or compromised if I'm gonna um, do that kind of arrangement, 50-50, not really, because yeah. he's not living as simple as I do. I have lesser expenses as much as possible, and he's not. And if we're going to do 50-50, I'm gonna compromise the expenses that I have to budget for my yeah. children, for my family. Absolutely. I Let's just say you are married now, okay? Like you finally found the right guy for you. A whole comes first. Let's just say your husband and your family, like your parents, sisters, brothers, do not get along. Who would you choose or who comes first? Is it going to be your family or it's going to be your husband? Well, the good thing here is that my family is very understanding. And um, they really don't... Um, get involved when it comes to my relationship with my man whatever happens even if they see that it might i might be in a difficult situation they won't uh, interfere on that but if in case of course i choose my husband because you know the sayings that it doesn't matter where uh, what family you came from but what type of family you created wow yeah i love that guy so you're gonna choose your husband yes. no matter what happened right because the reason why you you are with that person is because you choose to marry that person because you see something mm -hmm. and you want to grow old with that person right so yes. yeah okay so how do you want to be loved like what are the things that makes you happy as a woman do you like fancy things material things or just simple things um I, I'm okay with simple things. Um, I want like um, like the gestures and also like you know being romantic and uh, a man that who has initiative. And sometimes we women, it's very seldom for a man to express themselves yeah. if they love you. Yeah. For me, it's important. Yeah, they, they are really not vocal, right? That's actually yeah. my issue with my last relationship before. Like, they are men, especially if you're gonna date older men, they are not vocal or expressive with their emotions. So it's yes. so hard for us women to understand or is, is he really love me or what? Yeah, sometimes you're gonna have like, you're doubting about yeah. what, uh, how he really uh, yeah. feels about you. 
So you want a man who is vocal and then uh, not a nonchalant, like he's gonna express his feelings towards you, stuff yes. like that. But I, you don't like being, you know, being asked to date in an expensive restaurant. I'm not uh, used to that. I'm just uh, a simple woman, so I can. It's okay for me as long as that, as long as he is thoughtful as well. Yeah. Like he sees you when you are tired. Yeah. He sees you when you're not okay. Oh. He asks you about your day. Like yeah. He. Yeah, I, I like being kissed. Yeah. Like that. Like, yeah. so, absolutely. Like it doesn't really matter had. if the guy will provide you all this expensive, fancy things. But the right. fact that he asks you, "How's your day? Uh, are yes. you tired?" Like you know, like simple act of showing love or act of kindness will definitely make you feel like yeah i feel loved by this person let's just say you're about to get married with your long-term boyfriend may i ask you if what's your take about prenuptial agreement you know um like the guy would ask you to sign for a prenuptial agreement are you okay with that or you would like why is he asking you for prenuptial agreement I'm actually not looking after to my man's like um, his wealth because mm -hmm. basically I'm not a type of person that would actually that would actually uh, wish to have something that is being hard work by other people. Like it's not my hard work. He's working hard for that. It's his wealth. That's totally fine as long as he would be able to provide me or our family what we need yeah or it's already a luxury if we can have what we want as well yeah having a prenuptial agreement for me like somehow it's very uh, it's kind of an insult because we've been together for quite long maybe before marriage so basically you know me already and part of knowing me is knowing my intentions to you so why would you like to why would you we have a prenuptial agreement yeah, absolutely. But at the end of the day, are you willing to do that? Like, it's a case to case basis, but maybe, maybe. I'm also open to that. It depends with what really the reason is. Okay, because actually the reason why these foreigners would want to ask a Filipina that they're going to marry to ask for prenuptial agreement is because they are scared to be scammed or they are scared that at the end of the day after getting married with this filipina they're just gonna abandon you because you know here in the philippines there's no divorce right so what uh you as a foreigner you do not own anything here in the philippines basically you cannot own anything here in the philippines you cannot own a property you cannot own uh anything a business so it's their way of protecting their asset that they have worked so hard way back in their country which is in the u.s maybe like that so i understand that but i also understand your point that um it can be you know it can be misleading sometimes it, yes yeah it's also scary because what if he's he's gonna marry me but he doesn't have like trust for me like 100 percent trust right because the good successful relationship should have a good foundation of trust and also commitment right yes and i think as well um somehow like if you've been together for quite long and then he's going to uh, we're going to have a prenuptial agreement i might if i'm really like you know i have um a good intention i want to be with that man but just because of that prenuptial agreement it might cause being uncomfortable with him after so i just noticed that um you know foreigners don't like our uh, Filipina attitude, like yeah. we're not talking to them, we're like this, having the tampo, the, yeah, the tampo thing. And then I'm, I'm, I really have that kind of attitude with my partner That's my as well. Treat. And they don't like that. Yeah. But it's kind of inevitable if there's already a prenuptial agreement. Like I always think about, does really my partner trust me? Something, and it might cost them po. yeah it might cost them po. yes like uh have you have you always been like that like yeah every time you're you are you know something doesn't go your way or is something that your man some you know do something that it makes you upset or offended would you yeah. rather not talk to him yes because i don't like to fight 
I don't like, uh, you know, it, I don't like argument. So yeah. what I do is just, I don't talk. Yeah, and you're not then, confrontational. Yes, because what I'm waiting is for him to ask. But there's a certain thing that I make, uh, that I feel tampo. But the reason is maybe he won't, I'm also up, afraid to express yeah. because he might don't want or he might take it negat uh, negatively and it's negative. negative. Yes, yeah. exactly. So I rather be silent and then just wait until I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, so basically you are having silent treatment or tempo at the moment because you don't want to say something bad out of yes. your emotion or frustration that you yes. might regret after. after okay i totally understand that but yeah so far as a girl who has a temple issue <laughs> one thing that i've learned is you know no matter what whether it's bad or good you, you really have to communicate your feelings right <laughs> why why are you laughing <laughs> okay anyway guys thank you so much yvonne so guys if you are interested with yvonne you can comment down below i would love to set you up with her <laughs> She is single. I'm ready to next up. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you so much everybody. See you to my next thank video. You. Bye. Bye.